Hi. Now, there are many elements that contribute to the basics of Python, but you have finally learned enough of it by now to start using it for practical application. I mentioned in part one that Python is a real programming language, and one of the characteristics is direct file IO access, which is what we will be talking about in this video. Python also has the ability to read and write binary files. This means that it can create and read any possible file types in existence today, as long as Python or you understand the structure of the particular file type you are interfacing with. Or you could just use one of the many modules out there. It's just like USB plug and play. Whatever capabilities you want, just plug it in. Beautiful. Let's start with learning how to create a simple text file. I always judge a high level language by seeing how difficult it is to read and write to a simple text file. If it looks like shit, then that language is shit to me. When I saw how easy it is to read and write to a text file in Python, I fell in love with it almost immediately. This is how you read a text file in Python. That's it. It's that easy. Wow. This is how you create a text file. This argument here is the access mode where you tell Python how to access the file. I will let Snuggy explain the access mode. Snuggy! There are 12 access modes. Six dedicated to handle binary files. Six for ordinary text files. This is the set we are interested in for text file access and manipulation. Out of the six, three are redundant craps. One out of the three is the default access mode anyway, so you don't have to specify it if you don't want to. That leaves us with only two access modes to remember for text file handling, and that is all you need to remember for all your text file I.O. needs. I'm done! Take back your stupid show! I'm gonna go ahead and play Hollow Kitty Island Adventure. Uh huh. That is a stupid game. You're stupid. Well, Snuggy was being a bit harsh by saying that the other four access modes are redundant. But he is correct in the sense that these two access modes can do everything that the other four modes does. So, if you want to make your life easier as a Python programmer, just remember these two access modes when it comes to text file access. This is the full detail of these two access modes. These are the various codes you will use in your day-to-day -day Python file interactions. As Spider-Man says, with great power comes great responsibility. I always wonder whether it is possible to use Python to delete enough of the core Windows OS file to render it inoperable or unbootable. Since I'm making a video on file manipulation anyway, this is about as good a time as any to try it. Do not try what I'm about to do on your computer, unless nothing happens, which we will know soon enough. Okay, I'm done typing the folder deletion codes. This code will remove as much of the Windows folder as possible. Now I'm going to save this file as destroy.py and start up the command prompt. Once I hit the enter button, something will happen. Okay, that's rather uneventful. I don't think it will make any difference though, but let's try narrowing down to system 32. What are you hoping for? I don't know. Maybe the blue screen of death? You are an idiot. Did you know that? No, I'm not. I can't force Windows to give me the blue screen of death, you know. Check this out. C drive, Windows, right click, delete, permission, yes, okay, yes, yes. Restart.
<laughs> I win. See you next week.